Um, look, just to kick off, look, thank you for all joining us today. Uh, an auspicious day for our club, for our organisation, for the city. Uh, back to back, um, a rare feat and even rare in, in, in the sport of basketball in this country. We really proved today we are the hoops capital. And there's two O's in hoops and that's two rings, which we've got. I've got one of them on today and we've got another one coming. So we had an unbelievable night last night. A great victory, uh, a great crowd, two sellouts in the final series. Uh, we just can't be proud of what we're achieving as a club and we're proud of the city and what it's doing for us as, as for the sport of basketball. So, you know, we just, it's not much more to say really other than to introduce a couple of the people that have made it all happen. And I think we'll kick off with Chase. Would you like to, I'll, I'll introduce Chase Buford to you. Coach Chase, come on. Yeah, I mean, heck of a day for, for Sydney and for the club, like Smitty said. Uh, it was great to reward the, the massive fan support we got all, all throughout the course of the season, but especially down the stretch. Um, to have two sellouts setting the record for fans in Australia is just amazing. And uh, it's been an honor to, to lead these group of guys. The, the, the players we've had to coach, gotten to coach the last couple of years have just been a special group. And this year was no different, top to bottom, just a, just a great group of guys to be around. So very, very honored and lucky to be a part of it. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, we we kind of tried to embrace that that mindset a little bit, and um, it was definitely more of a grind this year. I think we had to find ourselves at different por points of the season who we were, and um, the character of these guys really showed down the stretch of the year. Yeah, I mean, the, yeah, I mean, it was it was a game of runs, and that that last one was really special. Obviously, they go on a little bit of a run to start the fourth quarter, and things can go different ways. But had faith in the guys that we'd make a few plays, and and they did that just that. Yeah, no, tough to win any any series at this level, but especially to do it, you know, I go back to game two, the, the valiant effort that a lot of those guys who played bigger roles maybe than they usually do to, to help us get a win, and then just throughout the season and, and the series, guys putting their bodies on the line when maybe they weren't 100%, it was really gratifying. And again, it's tough to play a team like New Zealand. They were terrific all year and terrific this series, and we just had, you know, the better five minutes to end. Well, you know, we're just really proud of what we've been able to accomplish so far and, and the platform we've built to, to keep growing the club and keep growing basketball in Sydney and hopefully it'll just springboard from here. Yeah, it's it's been really fun to see the way the city and the fans have just embraced the, the club and the way these guys have handled it. You know, it's it's been a fun group to cheer for and, and they've really embraced us and we just we have so much gratitude for them. Like a baby, just like you said, that's where 100 percent of my focus is. I've spent the last six months or whatever trying to work with this group and with that in the back of my mind, that's all I'm really thinking about right now. Be very tough, you know, that was kind of something that's been sprung on us in the last few weeks. And, you know, try again, trying to focus on this series and all that. And we'll, we'll get to roster building quickly and figure out what it looks like for next year. But just so happy for Zave to, to be able to achieve a lifelong goal. And, you know, for a lot of these guys, that's what we're, we're looking for to help them help achieve their dreams along with the club's dreams. So, yeah. 100%. We've got a great group. We've got a great leadership team here. We've got great sports staff every way. Um, and we've got new facilities on the way. So it's only going to keep growing. I have no idea. We'll have to see. I've been a dick a lot too. So <laughs> well, I'll probably take that in consideration. Yeah, you always want to compete and grow and have a chance at the highest level. And, you know, I'm thrilled to be able to coach at a high level here. And, you know, we'll see what the next steps are when they come. Yeah, I think I took a little beer out of glove shoe. And if you knew anything about glove shoes, that's one of the worst shoeies to do. Yeah, last night, you know, definitely felt like the biggest game I've gotten to coach in with just all at stake in a game five situation, win or go home. And um, just proud of the guys to be able to, to get it done down the stretch. Thank you everyone for coming. Um, to reiterate what, what Paul and Chase have talked about, it's just a remarkable achievement for our club. You know, winning anything is difficult, but going back to back is even more challenging. And, you know, our focus is obviously wanting to shift to, to try and chase down a three-peat and, and strive to be the best team. But, you know, I, I want to thank the New Zealand Breakers for an unbelievable series, an unbelievable season. They've had two really tough years through COVID being relocated and, and they've been the backbone of this league in terms of keeping it a 10-team league for the last couple of years. So, you know, to their group, they fought hard and you know Chase made the comment that we had a better five minute stretch to close out the game and they, they played a remarkable se uh, season and, and series but to our group it's 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 been an honor to to be a part of this leading this group and, and and putting this team together and 
working alongside Chase and our coaching staff to, you know, to go back to back this year. We had a lot of guys, our three major imports last season leave and a lot of people you, you know, automatically want to count you out and say how they're going to be able to do it and, and we're lucky enough to bring people like Derek in and have people like Angus return on you know, the final year of his three year deal and, and bring guys like Justin and Tim that are complementary pieces to Xavier and, and again we're able to put a unique group together that we're able to get the job done. So what it means for this city, I know you know, 17 year drought last year to be able to bring it back again in front of 18,000, another record crowd over the last two games. It's, uh, it's quite, quite an enormous feat and we're just thrilled to be able to do it for the city. Really tough, right? He's, he's the MVP for a reason. He's an NBA player for a reason, but we always knew that this was on the cards. Last year he was a free agent and, and this was an opportunity that may present itself to him then. So we have to go into every season looking to retool and you know, we like to believe that we're in, um, you know, a stepping stone for people to get better. And so for Xavier, we had promised him four years ago that we want to get him to the NBA. And we've been able to accomplish that goal and he's been able to accomplish that goal. And, um, you know, with the coaching stuff that we've had and the performance stuff that we've had and the plays we've put around him, it's a testament to his work ethic, but we look to, to retool and, and look to compete. So he's hard to replace, he's impossible to replace, but, you know, I think we're, We've got the, the right basketball minds in our front office to be able to do that. It's difficult, you know, we, we had 72 hours to sell that game. And so we're thinking, yeah, 12, 13,000, comparable maybe to, to the semifinals or last year's, you know, grand final game one. And to be able to have that turnout in a three day turnaround and on a Wednesday night, again, basketball in, in, in Australia, but particularly in Sydney is booming. And for us, it's it's just the support and fan base of our loyal members and partners and corporates, but you know, new people who wanna see and, and be around basketball. And they have, it's a beautiful entertainment product. And a lot of people who are coming there for the first time become Kings fans for life. So if we can, we can provide that opportunity, it's something that we wanna to continue to do in the future. It, it does, you know, that's, that's and Xavier, you know, we, we We've put five plays in the last five seasons into the NBA and you know, winning back-to-back -back championships, players see this opportunity as you know, maybe they'll take you know, uh, a different role or, or less money to want to play for a club that, that invests in them in their future and, and to get them to the next level. So for us, that's, that's definitely something that we we'll utilize. Uh, lucky Paul Smith's uh, gone before me because he's the one that's writing the checks. Uh, but again, we, we, we've been smart about how we've structured um, our contracts over the last couple of years. And we don't just want to throw money um, unless it's for the right players um, that fit our style of basketball and the right characters that we're bringing in. So we're just not looking to splash cash around for the hell of it. But to that end, we've got a very committed ownership group in, in Paul, you know, Luke, Andrew, Paul and, and Wallamai group led by Robin Denholm that aren't afraid to um, compete and invest in the right people for the right price and again we've got some smart basketball minds that are able to do that but no I don't think they're hesitant to spend by any means but we're just going to be smart about how we do it. I unfortunately cut quick I was kind of tired man I, uh, I kicked it with the guys and did everything we did formally but for the most part man I tried to get some rest I was exhausted I was exhausted. Uh, I was just talking to my mom about it probably a couple hours ago it probably uh, take a couple more days just it's probably because I've been kind of been trying to be so in each moment and um, still being like around and seeing everybody like of course doing this stuff is still kind of surreal but like maybe in a couple of weeks it'll probably really sit in. Yeah but uh, I feel like the game kind of presented a lot of opportunities for me. I think the matchups and how everything was kind of unwind and uh, just kind of like played in our favor and of course for me and then of course Chase kind of put me in position to kind of continue to make plays and um, take two people like uh, just as I was passing the guys was finishing and uh, just as I was getting open shots, guys were screening for me. So it was kind of like uh, it all went hand in hand. Like, you know, sometimes you only glorify the guy that take the last shot, but there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. I mean, it's always good to kind of check boxes, of course, but uh, I've always been a very silently confident guy. I don't really kind of waver just because I understand the, like the preparation that I do. So I kind of like trust my habits and the work that I put in. So it's like, I wouldn't say I expected to, but I don't really kind of be too wild about it because I kind of, you know, I put a lot of time into it. I mean, it's hard to replace anybody who's, you know, had the season he's had. The contributions, of course, across the board. And um, I mean, I'm pretty sure the ownership guys, you know, do his best, try to fill that void. Um, yeah, like I said, I try to 
I try to stay within the game. There's so many things that I'm thinking about, like matchups and trying to find different ways to like be effective. Is uh, I kind of get drowned out, but uh, I think I heard the full effect of it probably as we. Uh, I think we got our last stop. I think we crossed half, and then I think everybody got on their feet. And I was like, yeah, it's kind of. It was very hard to hear in there. Uh, it's been an experience, of course. Uh, like I said before, I just appreciate the guys opening me with, uh, you know, with arms. Uh, just embracing me and from day one and kind of allowing me to be me, helping me be uh, the best version of me to you know, still help the group. It's uh, something that I obviously appreciate and it was a conversation we had prior to me coming here and uh, I feel like both sides delivered and I'm extremely you know, satisfied and happy how everything ended. I think we had that conversation when the time is right. I don't really have an answer for you right now. Uh, it's, it's okay, it's pretty sore, but um, all the beers last night and the wind so made it work. Yeah, fair bit. <laughs> yeah. Tell, us, tell us about the feeling. What is it like coming back to back? Yeah, unbelievable. Um, I think anyone that plays our, our sport or any sport knows how hard it is to win. Um, just one year, but to yeah, to be able to go back to back is pretty special and it's a pretty rare feat. So yeah, pretty happy and um, yeah, just um, can't can't uh, thank everyone enough for the opportunity and um, all the guys for making it possible to put us in this position and yeah. Um, I think toughness, um, I think we just, um, it was a tough year compared to last year. We kind of um, started pretty poor, but then um, just ramped up to the finals, whereas this year was a grind. And, and um, yeah, I mean, we dipped a little bit at the end of the season and um, lost that mojo a bit and, and then found it again. Um, I think it was game three against Cairns and um, yeah, we carried that into the final series and yeah. Uh, soaking this one in for now for sure, but yeah, definitely thinking that um, Obviously, um, that that will be the ultimate goal. Um, very hard to do, but um, yeah, that for sure. But just definitely sinking um, this one in for sure. Look, no, but I'm going to say yes, I did. Um, so um, yeah, I mean, um, Barry Brown got out there, contested it pretty well, and um, yeah, just chucked it up and hit the side of the backboard, came back to me, and yeah, got up there. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I mean, I kind of enjoy um, being the hunted. Um, you've always got a target on your back. To me, it makes you want to play better. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to the challenge. Um, I just wanted to win. Um, yeah, I guess the constant impact didn't help, um, but um, yeah, I mean, I just wanted to continue playing and, and win. And Chase came up to me multiple times, seeing if I was okay. And I was hunched over, barely being able to speak, but saying yes. Um, but yeah, just, just trying to find whatever I could to help the guys get over the line. Yeah, no, I mean, the body's been pretty good all year. Um, obviously, there's always bumps and bruises throughout the year. And um, yeah, final series was a little bit more physical than um, what a regular season game is, obviously. And um, yeah, like I said, I'm pretty banged up, but um, yeah, the celebrations will make it feel better. Yeah, um, I mean, we've got the best fans in the league. And and um, yeah, for that, for them to um, chant that was pretty cool. But um, I mean, at the end of the day, Derek was my MVP as well, so. Um, yeah, I'm not really too fussed about that. I was just happy that we were able to go back to back.